this is what we were studying at this point. We were trying to study how fast is the rate of material getting into the object. And what we suddenly found is that there was a very strong growth of material that was impacting the central object. And when we saw this, it's when we realized that it was a very special uh, phenomenon. This is the first time that this kind of phenomena has been observed in such a low mass object. So in this growth spur, what we found is that there was an increase by almost an order of magnitude, so almost 10 times more mass and flux coming into the object. So this is very significant because typical variations, because you have typical variations because of some inhomogeneities in the material around it, but this kind of variation is not typically observed. It's not routine variability. In astronomy, when we talk about quick things, for instance, we say the star formation happens quickly, and quickly we mean a million years, okay? Uh, so quickly is very relative. Uh, but this object went from gaining material at a very different rate, so at a, at a, at a low level, let's say, to gaining material hundreds of times more uh, efficiently in days. That is like something that happens in a matter of days and months in astrophysics is crazy. Fantastic pictures of this telescope. Go web, go web. Yes, go web. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper. So we will definitely follow up this object because we have observations from this object from almost 20 years ago and 15 years ago, and we see a similar behavior. So there's indications that this is a recurring, a recurrent event. Now we need to understand how recurrent, how important, how long lasting, because we didn't get an idea of the full duration of this burst. We just had a lower limit, let's say, because after two months, we couldn't continue it observing. So it could be possible that the object is still in this, during this enhanced accretion phase.